Hello, hello, Year 4 artists. Welcome back to Lesson 3 of our project on aerial art. Yesterday, you started your Colograph printing block by drawing it all out and sticking down all the roads and the rivers and things that break it all up. Now, we're going to fill in everything else. This is going to be really good fun. And you can share materials if you're working with other people or work on your own. And this is where all your materials come in, all those nice textures. And we want to get lots of different. So I'm just going to show you how we begin. So I'm just choosing the shape at the top there. Um, and I'm just roughly working out the size of it. And what's great about this is you can go over the edge because you can trim it all off later. So you don't have to be all precise at the moment. And you're going to start filling in a whole area. You see what I'm doing here is I'm filling in the whole area where there's the tin foil and the wool road that borders it. And I'm just filling it all with glue and I'm going to concentrate on this area first. And then the idea is when I finish this area, I move to another area. So as I say, don't worry about going over the edge. You can trim all that later. And I'm just going to look for different things. Now, I spilt some glue, so my friend gave me a cloth to wipe it with, and then I found actually what lovely texture. So I've cut up the cloth. Um, make sure you ask before helping yourself to anything like cloth in the house or uh, in the classroom. Don't want anyone getting into trouble. But it does make a nice texture, and Colograph is all about texture, the feel of things. And we want each of the textures that are next to each other to be quite different, quite distinct, because um, that's what's going to make the breast colour graph. So shall I have a bit of screwed up paper there, a bit, bit of card, bit of paper maybe, go in there. Mm, just trim that down a bit, stick it on there. Okay, so I've got some very rigid uh, textures, so I thought it would be nice to have a slightly smoother one, but it's not completely straight. Now I've got some of the rice here, and I'm using it a bit like glitter, where you have the glue down and you just sprinkle on the top. And not all of that will stay, but that's okay. We can shake any bits and pieces that haven't stuck down off later. But that's nice, that's a good texture. Um, use anything that you've got to hand and try it in different ways. If you've got a bit of tin foil, you could try uh, coiling it. Um, I've got my pasta here. I was just breaking up and doing bits and pieces there. I had a nice, uh, really nice set pattern of squares here. So I decided to use the same material of the corrugated card, but over and over again in different directions. A bit more spaghetti on there, a bit of straws. Uh, I'm moving around to the next section there. I've got that bit of fruit bag, um, which was nice. Cling film screwed up bits of cling film and then I rolled up some bits of tissue paper um if you're making little balls only do tiny ones don't do anything massive um because remember we're trying to keep it about the same thickness all over um otherwise it won't print as well and just have some fun with it I'm using bits of rice um if you've got lentils you can use lentils um Maybe if you've got houses, you want to use smoother bits of card. Um, so it's um, different to all the um, really textured bits. And there we go, my friends. That's my color graph block finished. I need to leave this now. Um, write your name on the back. We're going to be using this in next half term, where I'm going to show you how to make the prints. And we're going to do something that is inspired by the Guinness Book of Records. Bye.